Ronald Masinda is outside the school. Ronald, good morning. Hopefully it's still happening there because we do know, of course, that matriculants are writing their exams. But we know EFF has vowed to continue to protest. They want to engage with the school, which has denied any knowledge of that private matric uh, function that happened that involved only white peoples. Yes, good morning, Paratan. Well, still no sign of the economic freedom fighters, but what I can tell you is that the numbers of those who are against the actions of the EFF here outside of the school has grown quite substantially. And it's for that reason why private security is not leaving anything to chance. The area leading into the school, Paratan, is completely cordoned off. We are seeing quite a large presence of law enforcement and also we saw a helicopter flying over around the area of course there's a lot of tension here in this area we also try to get a quick word with some of the parents who are saying that they are not happy with the media coverage they say that all they want is to protect the kids that are uh, writing exams and that they've been portrayed as people who are out to commit violence let's get uh, a sense from a student leader michael moyala joins us now from Costas. michael thank you so much for your time. Now, of course, uh, many people, many accounts, w people who were here were saying yesterday that the, the, the EFF came here peacefully and that uh, usually the EFF has been blamed for uh, you know, you're not, not promoting peace when they are demonstrating. Uh, just your thoughts, uh, what do you think of the strategy as, as a student? Do you condemn it or, or do you agree with the way the EFF has carried themselves out? No, thank you very much for having us. I think as a Congress of South African students, what have we noted and what have we evaluated, as well as the incident when it has occurred, I think we have sent a representative to come in yesterday and come and expect and, and see what's the situation that is happening. We have seen, we were shocked yesterday, actually, we have seen nothing than what happened uh, in Seneca, then in Free State. It has been a, 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 a orchestration of saying that a certain grouping of white people that think that they are in charge, that thing that they own at uh, this country because today I'm shocked as well to see that a private security is closing a road in a public school that is supposed to say a school that is under South Africa. We are quite shocked and quite evident that indeed we have seen now and uh, I'm here to have seen that these white people have already said that they are taking over the country. We are demanding the immediate arrest of these white people. That have, And it is a, a racial condemnation. No EFF person has went there and damaged any school. No uh, person yesterday who was a demonstration, whatever they were demonstration, has went and instigated violence. We want to know from the South African Police Service who is held accountable for the incident and chaos that is erupted there yesterday. In terms of racial tension that we've seen play out here, in fact, even since Friday, uh, wh where does that leave, you, you, you know, the, the, the children, a lot of people saying that the children will be traumatized, they are in the middle of exams, uh, but is this the right time to deal with such an issue? Look, a, a revolution such as racism cannot be denied. We cannot say that we can wait and wait for such time to say that it can be denied. Issues must be resolved now. Even the president must be able to account when the ministry reports to them, because now we'll be writing letters, we'll be going out, going out to lay even cases to these private companies that are because we've came here on an evaluation from a national basis of Congress of African students. When we came here, we came to evaluate. Even us as leaders and stakeholders in the education fraternity are not even let to come inside here to even evaluate what's happening. Who are you protecting this? What are you protecting these kids against? There is no such thing. There is a big racial condemnation, and these people have now said they are fed up. They are protecting kids against who? They are here with dogs. They are here uh, uh, with, with, with big kids. What are they actually protecting? What are they protecting actually? In the background, we are seeing a, a member of the South African Police Service uh, briefing the media. Uh, just very quickly, uh, what are your views in terms of how the police have conducted themselves uh, during these uh, uh, protests? Look, we're saying, I've spoke to that man who says he's a station commander. We went there, I've told him that, in fact, I'm also appealing with the Minister of, of, of Police, and he'll be able to account in all of this instance. How can you allow a private security to go and close down a road in a public road whereby all things must stay? They're in Kailicha, there are schools there getting robbed, there are learners that are unsafe. No one goes there in Kailicha. There's no police visibility in Kailicha. There's no police visibility in the townships. It's only now that we see when these ones that are privileged, only now that these ones that when they cry out, 
people all jump. It means that the privilege uh, it, it has all the, uh, everything in this country. All right, Michael. That's why we we'll have to leave it, Pratan, because I think we have to uh, rush and just maybe get a few words from the SAPS no, regarding... No what is happening here. But we also know... Ronald, that Ronald, that Ronald, 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 I think you must go to the briefing. We can take it now. Just walk there and see if you can get to hear what they are saying. You can walk there now and let's see what they are saying. We are live on television. Right. We need to hear what the police are saying. Please go there quickly right. and uh, let's take it live now. All right, Pratan, we are moving closer to this briefing. And of course, as I mentioned a bit earlier, Pratan, the ANC in the province will also come here. We also heard from the Western Cape government that they will also be here. Um, so are you able to say a few words to us? I, I just asked so that I can see what the media cards look like. And I think that you are... Have you got jurisdiction here? Uh, no, no, just leave it, leave it like that. Come, exactly. come, be the side, exactly. be the side. Exactly. Okay, guys, guys, listen, listen. Uh, do, are you, are you, uh, come, come see Max, come, you are with me, come, come, come. Come, come. Don't, 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 don't worry about it. I'll, I'll send somebody to you. There is a media, they had that type of appointment. If you have any problems, you come here. Eh? So what seems to be the problem here? If we can just say we are live on ENCA. Come again? What seems to be the problem here? We're seeing a lot of tension. What seems to be the problem we are live at ENCA? Okay. Let, uh, let me explain for you currently. Uh, from yesterday's con confrontation, we continue with calling off this area to allow the school to continue with its work. So, uh, in essence, now we will get visited by the Premier and uh, the MEC is currently uh, in uh, consultation with the school, with the school principal. And then after we will make a call. For now, we said the media can enter in this area in order to allow them. Okay. Rotan, just very briefly, we are seeing quite a lot of uh, temples boiling over here. Uh, quite a number of people are gathered here, are arguing regarding what the situation here on the ground. One gentleman was saying that the security, private security, doesn't have the jurisdiction to be coordinating of this area. Okay, let's stay with this. Let's stay with it, Ronald. I ask you to watch the out and stay away from the people. Maintain your distance. And the same to apply to you. I said the only thing that I'll allow now is the media to be interns in this area that is falling off. Yes. So are uh, we together? For now, for your sake, the MEC and uh, the Premier is currently in the, the consultation with the principal of the school. Are we together? Are we together, sir? Yes. So please leave this uh, exchanging of words and talk of behavior. I speaking to you. All right, Bradan. Things getting pretty heated there at the moment. Uh, what uh, the police officer just confirmed is yeah. that the MEC Ron of the Ronald, province just to try and has Ronald, also arrived Ronald, at the venue. Ronald, sorry, I hope you can sorry to, sorry to interrupt. Just to try and give our viewers a sense of what is going on. The road has been cordoned off, but there's a private security that's present outside with some parents and bikers stopping the media. That's what I try to understand there from accessing that area. But the police are saying you as the media are allowed inside that area. Am I wrong? No, you're absolutely right, Pratan, because I think the, what the police officer was saying is that uh, we are, we are about, they are about to bring out the Premier of the province to address the media with regards to the situation here. Uh, and one of the issues, one of the members that, are, that is here, one of the residents that is here, was arguing that the, the, the security doesn't have the jurisdiction to cordon off the area and that it shouldn't have been up to them. And we saw tempers uh, boil over. Um, we are still seeing quite a number of people around us and very, very angry. Okay, but for now, things are, are, are calm and you are waiting for the Premier and the MEC to come out and address you, hopefully, in the next hour or so. They've been consulting with the school and the situation is calm and no EFF supporters have been around there this morning. Yes, indeed. While we, we're still waiting for the arrival of the EFF, we're also hearing reports, Pratan, that quite a number of EFF members have been flown over to, from areas like Gauteng, in fact, since last night. So we're still 
haven't confirmed those reports. Of course, we are still trying to, you know, speak to the EFF, who were reluctant to speak to us yesterday. But uh, what we do uh, here on the ground is that uh, they will be here in the numbers. We are also told that uh, quite a number of vans are expected here. So uh, at this moment in time, tensions are still simmering, uh, but things are still relatively calm. Tensions are simmering. Your COSAS guest a short while ago, this COSAS student leader saying that there's a lot of, of, of racism there and they are not happy. And some of the members um, of, of the private security and those uh, uh, residents who are there who are also literally uh, currently upset. I don't know if they're able to talk to you at all. So we can get a sense from them as well here, yeah, their side of the story. I don't know if any of them, if you approach them now, would be able to give you a sense of why they feel they, they have to take the action of blocking the road, stopping the media from accessing that area this morning. All right. I'm going to walk across Pratan and uh, give it a try as uh, there's still quite a, a lot of uh, arguments uh, occurring at, in the background. Uh, Michael, we spoke to you earlier. What seems to be the problem? No, no, no. What we're saying, there's a parents here that are, are, are instigating and asking that there's racism that is involved and they're denying. And they feel, some of them feel that it's correct to have a racial uh, activity or a, 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 a grouping that is invited under the school name. What we're calling for, of is simple to say that dismiss all teachers that were in attendance of that occasion dismiss anyone who's from the school. You cannot call it a private uh, function and invite a certain grouping of race and have teachers who are from this school that are entertaining such program all in under the name of a private function. So if I can bring you closer to this argument, okay, that gentleman is uh, reluctant to speak to us, Pratan, uh, but uh, it's been this situation where the group that is against the economic freedom fighters' actions at the school have been quite reluctant to speak to us. They say that uh, yesterday and on Friday they received, uh, you know, negative publicity from the media and it's based on that that they won't speak. But having spoken to some of them earlier on, they said that today they're not expecting to be quite a large group. As of yesterday, there were around 500 uh, people who have gathered here, people all over the Western Cape in solidarity um, against, uh, you know, children's uh, protecting children at the school that's what they say that's the main reason why here yeah. but also we spoke to several other parents Pratan, who uh, wanted to hide their identity saying that there is quite an, a, a lot of racial tension at the school there's children uh, for example have been subject to that and that uh, given the fact that uh, they 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 wanted to hide their identity they say that uh, it's they, they will be victimized should they come out in the media to, to make these uh, claims. Yeah, it looks like this is a symptom of a bigger issue of race relations in the country. I mean, your COSAS case a short while ago mentioned Senegal in the free state. We, we know that's a different case, but how the local uh, white uh, residents there behaved and what we are seeing playing itself out now outside the Brackenville, uh, high, Brackenville high School there in Cape Town. Well, we're going to have to wait and see what the, prime, the Premier, rather, uh, uh, Alan Windy will say when he comes out with the MEC for education, that's uh, 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 Barbara Schaff, I think. Uh, and then we'll hear what uh, uh, Debbie, Debbie, Debbie Schaefer, Schaefer. Rather, Debbie Schaefer, sorry, what they have to say. We'll have to wait and see as well if this morning or sometime today members of the EFF will come to that area. It's a pity indeed because we have matriculants who are busy writing and this is playing itself outside their school. Allegations of racism will not go away unless and until you address them. Nobody should tolerate racism in our land.